Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a super affordable, but still luxury family cruiser for a Class B motorhome. This is the 2024 Integra Coach Ethos LI model 20A slash L for the lithium batteries. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Ethos and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys. You guys know I love Integras and Becky loves B-Vans and behind us is an awesome Integra Coach B-Van and it's perfect for families. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Becky. Hey Becky! Hi guys! Where are we today? We are at Kensington Park and I brought Matt here because I feel like, like my, Matt said, this is the family luxury cruiser and... We got baseball fields, picnic tables, ponds, a little playground in the back, some water slides. Becky, this is where somebody's taking this motor home if they have one. There's a disc golf course over there. I mean, there's just so many things to do, but kind of like Matt said, this is, this is where you take something like this, in my opinion, and you guys will see why when we go inside. But this is built on the Ram chassis. This is a 3500 chassis. It's a V6 Pentastar engine. I would tell you that you're probably going to average around 14 to 16 for your fuel economy and it is 21 feet long. 21 feet 11 inches to be exact and again you said the 3.6 liter v6 very very nice 3500 ram promaster window van chassis um as the specs say and then becky let's talk a little bit about the lithium batteries real quick because okay. this is the li edition right so you'll see on the back there that it says li what that means is that this van is equipped with a lithium battery so if we were to go to settings just like this and you don't have to turn a generator on to run everything inside of your coach it's a lithium battery it, it it's no noise so it's stealth or urban camping i like to call it it's 48 volts 210 amp hours smart lithium battery 3500 watt inverter and a second alternator dedicated to lithium battery and there's solar on the roof yes 200 watts provide a little charge to your battery perfect so again the ram chassis nice little you know chrome pretty short in the front so okay. easy to drive you'll have the nice ram lights and you've got some other lights down here and a lot of safety features built into the chassis um and you know this the screen's a lot bigger as we noticed yes. when we're driving here than it has been in the past so they're definitely updating a lot of their technology perfect um over here you do see that you have a nice mirror with the blind spot monitoring built in so it's nice to be able because the van's out a little longer and then you're able to see what's on the side of you becky you just said a little longer i mean it's a well, van it's a van but it's a little longer than some people's cars right not mine but some people's and then look at these tires becky they're the nexons i love those lt 225-75 r16 okay. very nice so like matt said passenger window van mm. Look at all the windows. Yes, it's very sleek incognito. It is. A nice awning, which we will put out here in a minute, and a nice little running board with a anti-slip thing there. Um, you'll come in here and you'll see that you've got a nice big grab handle to get inside. Another yes. handle up here. Yes. And plenty of space. You know, it's actually, Matt, you were kind of like. I was leaning back. You were. I mean, yes. Matt was napping over here and I was driving. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a weird setup. Like this thing like sit up for a second right like <laughs> this thing it's it's very weird and not now you sit up high no. and then when you pull those levers down yeah levers what's a lever i don't know it's whatever that is what is a lever i don't know it's a lever <laughs> yep very, right. very very weird but yeah. that's why i had the lean back that was i'm gonna keep you in some crazy position cup holders here and a cargo carrying capacity of 1602 pounds all right so open up the door and i will let matt go in and demonstrate actually matt there you go now matt i can get this one just like that all right i did fall out of a van and landed out it was okay but so everything matt, was fine matt likes these screens but i like these screens this is kind of nice because then you know it's not so dangerous yes now here's the deal um if you're camping in this more bugs will come in with that type of screen because you know 
you have to open and close it but i like it for this because you're not camping in it a lot of people are coming in and out and so right. it's easy to slide that door open and close very true so let's put the awning out too um. maybe double tap it nope you gotta hold it okay and then right there she's controlling it with her digital panel right there you can see your battery disconnect switch and your reno g for your lithium and we will show you on the inside but four captain's chairs here which is very very nice now as i'm walking back you can see this atuli awning it is the armless awning with wind sensor and then up on the roof i'm far far enough back you can see the coleman mock air conditioning unit now becky that's a big old awning now do you know this this one have a wind sensor no, you can I see actually, the light up led lights I also hate no to, it's no wind sensor and i hate to I'll also correct you but it's not armless look these are the arms these are the arms that attach i know it i'm positive they attach here you got to take oh them yeah, yeah yeah i don't want to demonstrate it I, I can but it's just no it, it yeah but you have to attach that and that to there and it, it makes it more stable but you can leave it like this correct right? many people that do got it got but it, it uh, that's okay did you correct me on my own show i did i'm okay. sorry well, well, why don't you correct me and get it retracted back in? <laughs> yes, no, it, I'm really sorry. it's not about me being right or wrong, Becky. It's about getting the right information. And again, it's not the armless awning. Um, it does have a light though, which I did turn on. Yes. And I turned on the step light, so ah, I don't know if you can see that underneath. Which... Not really, but oh. you know, in the nighttime, you will be yeah. able to definitely see it. So while I am over here, you'll see that this is a lot of the controls for everything. Yes, your lights your tanks your master like well is there tanks on this or does it just say tanks no there's going to be a fresh water tank okay good yep. good you'll yep. see so have a gray tank that's going to be your your sink water and your shower water and then you'll have a black tank because your sewer also it looks like you'll be able to turn your generator on here but well, there is no, no generator. generator hit that lightning bolt there so there's no generator over because to the matt, left matt again this is a lithium battery. ah yes 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 okay right. well they had the same logo they had it the does. same logo but yeah lights your climate control air conditioning on all your settings you can do also all this from an app on your phone of course right there's an app for that new technology yes ma'am all right more power well two power receptacles here that's where that other leg goes for the awning and then that's storage for your stinky slinky i didn't even see it oh i didn't even see it over there that's nice because it's very concealed yes and there is no cassette on this this actually has a black holding tank and a gray holding tank Ooh, i like this yes integra Pretty. is beautiful and it's kind of like a different color yes know? um backup camera the big windows which is really nice you do have a tow receiver hitch but you're not going to tow with this well here's the thing becky so a lot of people ask like because they live in like real strict hoas right? and obviously you always want to ask your hoa if it's okay first sure but there is some hoas like we did a winnebago travado a few weeks ago and that's definitely going to stick out in an hoa where this with it the black and the like even the integra coach emblem it's real incognito and oh my gosh inconspicuous i've never said that word in my life Ooh, you're, ever you're using some big words today matt there you go <laughs> true story i'm not a wordsmith oh, hey i'm a smith? i'm a seller not a speller you, you know yeah well, the, what was the, the other i don't know all right anyway but it's storage. very incognito there you go i like it that's a great word to describe it and very open so you could put bikes through here kayaks you know load up your stuff if you go to home depot yes take one, you need to get lumber or osb boards they all fit through there so it's very functional but you could use this whole space so say we were just like here at this beautiful setting and now you have your friends yep and your kids and you've got chairs up here but you make this whole space work for the outside for as sure well. There's a lagoon table which we'll find in here and it uses more for like outside tailgating yep this is the a tailgater this is the traveler with your friends going to concerts art museums i mean you're not you can sleep in here you right. totally can sleep in here but again there's Traveling. not like two dedicated beds there's right. one single bed it does come out and make a bigger bed which is kind of a pain in the butt right again this is this is too bad this is for the people that are 90% traveling, 10% mm -hmm. sleeping. Right. If you're doing 90% sleeping and 10% day cruising, then there's going to just be different floor plans for you. But this one is definitely for the people that 
need a kitchen and a bathroom and a seating area, right. not necessarily a sleeping area. Like if I was going to come visit you in Florida, yeah. I would drive this. I would be fine even with the four chairs to have it as my car because right. it just functions. Well, so see, well. this would definitely work for me as well. Like right. when we're filming, we can have like a little office or whatever. Right. Um, you know, dietary restrictions, a toilet and everything. Yeah, Very we, nice. We know you need a toilet. Oh, Easy we, now. We forgot to point out there's an mm -hmm. outside shower. Sorry. Yes. There's an outside shower and a water pump and some more power over there. Right over there <laughs> for my toilet, Becky. <laughs> it is a black and gray tank, which I actually prefer. I don't like the cassettes. And there's a black tank flush right there. What else do we have for the outside? So Zamp solar hookups. You can do a, a portable solar panel, power. You've got your city water. Potable water fill. Potable. Your tank flush. Pot potable. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 30 amp service. So if you want to plug into campground power or you can even plug it into your house, but with um, down to 15 amp service, you can plug this in. Uh, cable service. If you're at a campground and they have cable, you can plug that in. Yes. There's where you dump your gray tank. Oh yeah, I didn't see, you can see that. That's nice, it's down, like, it's kind of hidden. You don't see it. Um, exhaust, obviously. And then this must be your exhaust for the what, Truma? Yep, yep, yeah, for the uh, hydronic heating system. Yep, there we go. A nice- If I said that right. I think you did. Um, a step here to get in. And again, there's the handle here and a handle here. And I I don't feel terrible in here at all. I, I don't. I don't hate that there's this. Oh, you do hate that there is that. Okay. But it's not like a deal breaker. That's what you mean. Yeah, exactly. I but also, you don't like that. I'm, I'm sure it's just screwed in and it couldn't come out. Hey, with a saw saw, anything can come out. No, it's you just pop these off. I can figure this out. But I I don't know. It's tied in with here, so I'm not sure. However, I, you know, it's not bad. It is what it is. It gets your storage. My purse is up there. Turn that engine on. But, um, so... They've done a lot of updates, like I said, outside with that big screen. Turn the music screen. off, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. So they have the nice big screen now. Everything's digital. You know, you've got your XM radio. You can tie it into your phone. You can add all these, you know, oh, look at that. Oh, Dang. climate control. We didn't yeah, even. Yeah, a little zoned even... air conditioning action. Yep. Navigation, phone, vehicle apps. But it's just, it's it's nice in here. It's rugged. I, I like that it's easy to clean out. Yes. You know, you can just sweep it out with a broom, blow it out with a blower. Yes, yes. Really. I mean, that's how I would clean it. And then right here, you do have a digital dash. Now, something that we did find out about this one here is that there was no adaptive cruise control. Nope. There was cruise control, but it wasn't adaptive cruise control. I don't know if that's a whole new, um, if it's a whole new Ram chassis thing. We're or an Integra out. Ethos thing. But by the time this video is out, Becky will know and she'll be able to talk to you about it. And we'll review other 2024 Ram B vans as well. And so we'll have that answer by the time this video is out. Right. But again, we just want to, but here's what we do know. We don't know the answer to that, but stock number 294121 does not have it. That's what we do know. Right. And then I'm going to show you guys my side seat when we drive back to the dealership. Uh, let's take a look at the inside, but before we do, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Guys, I am in my brand new Delta travel trailer and RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company, makes the absolute best mattresses in the RV industry. When I went on their website, all I did was click this style of mattress that I wanted, which I selected the Aurora because it's the best one, it's the thickest one, and it's the most comfortable. I selected that I have a 60 by 80 queen size bed, and then they shipped it to my house. Guys, RVMattress.com, their factory's based in Arizona. They ship it straight to my house. It was super easy to install in my travel trailer, and it comes with a 120 night sleep trial guarantee. Guys, if you need a new mattress for your RV, use promo code MAP for 25% off. But not only that, they have pillows, sheets, and weighted blankets. And what I loved about using this blanket was that it kept me cozy, but also didn't suffocate me. So I was able to get the air conditioning on top of me. Guys, if you need a new mattress for your RV, go to rvmattress.com backslash mat. Let's continue the video. Great, so walking on in, you can see that there's four captain's chairs really spacious back here and again a rear lounge area with a huge kitchen everything's big in here because there's no like dedicated bedroom area 
And Becky, how do you feel in that captain seat? I feel good, and I'm just gonna show everybody that it does swivel around, but it's of course a little. It's the uh, mock. You got to do the Macarena for sure. Basically. But yes, but this all one swivels, that swivels. Both front seats swivel, and then you have all four seats. Now here's what I'm not seeing, Becky. I'm not seeing like a dedicated center table area right there. Well, because it has the lagoon table, which. But will that be big enough? It's yeah, it's big enough. But it wasn't together, so. Of course, Matt always makes me. Matt's impatient, guys. If you don't know it, look, he, he's so he's an impatient man. He doesn't give me any time. Ever. It's okay. No, it's not, Becky. But this is you're van making life. me look like a bad guy. Oh, it's van. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's van life, and people want to see it in real time. I know. And here you go. So. Yes, but my hypothesis was right. That's not good enough for everybody to be sitting at. Oh, you mean for everybody? To yeah. Oh. Just saying. Well, I mean. It's good for you. Two. Yeah. Two. But this table also goes to the back. Okay. So, you, like I said earlier, for tailgating. Um, but like it, MCD nightshade, nice seating area. This is plenty of space. And yes, this is that is huge. First class, right first here. First class, with yes, the window that opens. And you got that screen. screen. And then if I want privacy, I can close that. I have power for you know charging devices. A little storage there. And if, again, if I don't want the table there, I can take it down. I do like to notice, oh, there's uh, more lights here, but this strip light. Like, yeah. Oh, it's very nice, bright. Yes. Um, now, Becky, I've been on first class once or twice in my life. And see, first class to me has a television. First. No. Oh, so I don't well. see it as first class. Okay. I mean, come on. So, uh oh. What? Bam, just like that. Okay. I love that. It's super nice. And we reviewed another B van last week or two weeks ago, whenever. And, um, that's such a better TV setup so you're not smashing your head. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And when you're done, it goes just up, and then it just slides in just like that. Right. It goes up and then slides <laughs> in just there like that. All right, and then I'm going to point out underneath of here there are locks. So it's hard to see, but you just... Well, no, that's why we got okay. a camera. So push that. Yeah. Open, but then they slam and latch. And then, but I like that. Then you know they're too. closed. And... So this is kind of help with sound deadening for the outside and insulation because mm. all these fans are insulated. Most of them are insulated pretty well. Uh, three point seat belts. So for all those uh, ladies out there with their children that are worried. Nice well, gentlemen too with children that are sure. worried. Well, women, uh, you know, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just, well, what are you saying? Too. What are you saying? Know. That I would just throw my kids in the back no, and say good luck? because my best friend Josh is always like, he's a you know, child not to, which you guys should be. I mean, it's important. Well, hey, I throw, my, I throw my kids back there and call it Darwinism. <laughs> All right, uh, an air conditioner, yes. Coleman air conditioner, which is really nice. I love the beautiful cabinetry. And let's notice here, let's point this out. Look, mm. when you open it, yes. the front, and this, it's the same. Yes. That's nice, right? And you know what? Integra didn't have to do that. So, um, and a lot of brands wouldn't do that because they'd be like, hey, we can save $12, That's $30. Truthfully, probably it's what, nice. 30, 50 dollars? Right. I mean, which every dollar counts. Actually, you know what? Open up that cabinet. Oh, it's even on the inside of here. Nice. That Again, is nice. That's important. It matches. It is just a little more, you know, this is high end. This is the this is step above. Creme I mean, de la creme. But this is gonna be where your energy system is. Okay. That's what Matt said earlier. That's your 48 volt lithium battery system that's gonna power everything inside the coach. There's no generator inside of here. A lot of these stuff in here, this is going to be window covers yes. for the front to black it out. Um, stuff like that. Then I will uh, switch we're gonna with swap. me. Yep. Do the Macarena. Ooh, this is van life. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bath. What is this? Oh, wow, liquefied. This... Our brand of black tank toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoopmusician.com to pick up a bottle. We now have lavender and it works for both black tanks and gray tanks. Especially in B vans. Especially in B. Okay, number one, that stuff's amazing. But number two, Matt. Number two big. in the number two. <laughs> this is a huge bathroom. Talk to me. I'm oh, I'm five ten. I have plenty of. So I'm not ducking. It's crazy how your head's not hitting in the Ram, but it did in the Mercedes. It did. That's weird. Because that bathroom had a step up or something. Ah, okay. Just a little bit. But look how big. I mean, yeah. besides you know. But there's a lot of space. I'll let Matt go through the bathroom. But I like that. Vanity, um, mm. a lot of 
room in there for a B van bathroom. This is big. Plastic toilet, womp womp. But for weight in B vans, it's not. I know, I know, I know. I know you it's, always. It's, it's plastic. It's plastic. I know, I know. I hear you, Becky. I hear you. Um, my back's hitting okay. the shower thing. Believe it or not, side space. Mm. I'm actually good. Height space, I'm good, but I am touching back there and it's plastic, but Becky. So this is not a prime pooping position, but again, still very, very good. And here's what makes it. I love these little sinks like this. Uh, they do this in B-Vans and they do this fantastic. And if anybody's watching at Integra or any of these manufacturers, you know where I'd like to see this at? Um, In the showers, in the small class C's where the kitchen sink is only one step away just put a small sink in their shower to make their bathrooms a little bit more spacious in their class C's um, and then this is where your toilet paper holder would go and again you're not really gonna be spent showering in here this is that emergency shower when it's time and needed light a fan and that vanity does open for storage well Becky do you know what time it is it's now time for the MSRP burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 294121 out of Wixom, Michigan. Wow, it's $209,174. Becky, MSRP. That's with lithium too. Sale price, we have it the maximum that we're allowed to advertise a sale price for an Integra at 28% off to a sale price of only $149,995. Becky, that is a fantastic price. And there's two things I want to mention about that. One, I know we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from matsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to any member of my team and we will get you the best price in America. But Becky, there's also another tab in the YouTube description below. Where does that take you to? That takes you to Becky's Cash. GeneralRV.com slash Becky's Cash. That is a version of Matt's Cash, but it's a form that goes straight to Becky. We appreciate you so much for helping us on these videos. And so that lead form goes straight to Becky. One, she can help you with any RV. Mm -hmm. Travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes, but especially B vans because she helps us with them so much. So if you want to work directly with Becky, once you fill out that form, she will contact you and not only will she get you the best price in America, but she'll give you amazing customer service before, during, and after every sale. And here's the one thing I want to mention. She works in Michigan, but she's the internet department. So whatever dealership sells the brand that you're looking at, you can go through her and get it picked up down there. I can't tell, I can't tell you what. At the Hershey show a couple weeks ago, um, we were selling B vans in Pennsylvania, but people were picking them up in Michigan and Utah and Florida. So just reach out to us and we will, it doesn't matter what General RV. Doesn't matter. It's whatever's closest and more importantly, more convenient to you guys. So please reach out, especially to Becky. And Thanks, Becky man. does have her own sticker. Bing! That <laughs> it's a $150,000 sticker, but it comes with a free Integra ethos. Okay? <laughs> Show us this awesome kitchen, Becky. Oh, you're too much. Okay. So I have to admit, yeah. this fridge, all right, can I just take no. this? Oh yeah, well let's swap here. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah let's swap, easy. yep. Easier this way, yeah, we, we didn't do it the right way. We should, we didn't shake the wrong way, guys. All right, freezer on the top, mm. nice and organized, it's organized, it's to, oh, up the off the floor, it's big. Um, lots of cupboards here, now we have the police here. Are the police here? <laughs> yeah, the police Oh are my here. goodness. A few minutes later. Are you causing a disturbance with the police, Becky? <laughs> we just parked in an area. It was just, we did it for the gram and they, under, they understood. They were like, okay, just, just go to the parking lot. But look. And here's the best thing. One, just literally before they could get out of their cars, we closed the doors and we moved. That's what van life's all about. Being quick, easy, and nimble. And then look, you fit perfectly. Well, almost perfectly in the parking spot. You could have definitely pulled up a little bit, but let's go back in the kitchen. All right. So this is a nice Norcol fridge. Yes. Big, it's off the floor. I love how nice, organized. I mean, there's lots of shelves, pull out drawers, three little spots on your side. It's just a good fridge off the floor and big. Now, Becky, 
If this is our first time watching our videos, welcome to the show. Smash that thumbs up button. And that looks like a small fridge. And it is a small fridge. But in B-Van world, that is a huge refrigerator. There you go. All right, more cabinets back here. Again, with all of this nice fabric. Also, you know, this helps like keep your stuff from slipping all around. Yes. Too. So. I love the Euro doors and I love how they slam shut because let me tell you something everybody that has a motorhome has once had something like this and look at that Becky doesn't that look like it's shut it does but it's not right so when it clips in now it won't fall open when you make a hard right and turn your stuff won't open yes yeah, don't fall off there nope we're good okay uh reading lights back here um I also point out here this is a place where you can actually turn on all of your stuff. So Love if you it. do come back here and you forget to turn the lights off up here on the front, it's all right here on Love this it. nice little firefly. Now this does slide out and make to a bed, which I will just do it because I have a feeling everybody's gonna wanna see it anyways. So these legs fold down. Okay. There's a third leg there, yep. Again, I mentioned it on the outside. This is for the 90% day cruiser, 10% sleeper. It's, they also want to make sure that everybody knows. This is also available with a pop top. Ah. So it would be called the 20D model. 20D with the pop top? Yes. And how tall are you, Becky? 5'10". I have plenty. This bed is huge. Mm. I, I Could I do two... Yeah, I could do two people in this bed. I'd be fine. Um, or a not, night. Not hey. big Mike. Not big Mike. Mike, I mean, Mike's six foot five. But but again, like you and Bear, her dog. Oh, yeah, Bear. That's yep. true. Me and Bear. I mean, if yeah. Mike, had to, Mike and I had to sleep in this together for like a one night at art show or something, we would totally do that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I mean. It it wouldn't be fun. I don't like to again, cuddle, but if, I'd cuddle with him. Probably. I guess. <laughs> but um, I again, if but see, if your goal for Becky's lifestyle is that her and Big Mike would be sleeping in a motorhome more often than not, then this just wouldn't be the right floor plan for her, right. but there'd be other great floor plans. Exactly. Now, I'll, we will put those back up, but I'll show just how it is. Here's the outside kitchen with a water pump and power. And then also that table that Becky showed, you can actually have it right there and right there as well. Yeah, we'll just do that later. Yes. All right, so window that opens with a screen. Yes. And then, I don't know if we pointed out the nightshade there as well. So you'll get some ventilation because you also have a fantastic fan. These things, if you were to open up, if you're back here and you are going to sleep and you open up this mm. and you open up this and you turn this on, it's oh, like yeah. a tornado through here. And you might not even need the air conditioner. So I've been... Do you get the air conditioning if you have the pop top? Yeah. You probably do. It probably goes right there with, with the pop top. Right. But nice big kitchen. Uh, that's supposed to be there, but... Yep. Show um, the sink. Sorry. Big sink, residential faucet, induction cooktop yes, built right in. A. Hey, that's a nice tower power there. So that's not that's nice and convenient to have. Uh, there is a JBL speaker that goes up here as well. Also a USB plug right there. Switch for your lights. Up. Just show that storage, please. Sorry. Very functional. I love it. Sorry. Very nice. Cable. Oh, cable. So you could hook up a TV back here ah. for tailgating and just put it right here. Just like that. Oh, not bad. So you got to take this to Michigan State games and U of M games. Mm. That's a, you know, Lions. Well, hang on. Did you just say Michigan? Oh, yeah, Michigan, Michigan State. State. Okay, not Michigan. U of M? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michigan because, State. Because well, my husband went to State. Right. Well, Mr. Lauren Betis went to State. Oh, well, that's true. And, uh, you cannot you cannot say you you can say michigan as long as state comes afterwards but not michigan you if you know what i'm saying yeah that's well, i don't i don't want to go uh i don't want to have bad reviews either way people saying i don't like michigan i i'm no 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 you you're know. fine Ooh. but again we're a team we are a team and he's the captain he is the captain of yes. the ship uh this is cool guys actually just i think this might be new i don't know but yes so you can pull it out, and number one, you have a drawer. So you've got a silverware drawer. That's Love what it. I would use that for. It's but a two-in-one, three-in-one. Yeah, two you've got a cutting board built in. How convenient. Um, and then convection microwave, nice and big. Yep. And obviously, I already opened that drawer. Nice drawer. Also, so you see the that's the spot, and this is the spot where that lagoon table 
you can also buy another one if you were going to be using this on a consistent basis buy, yep. a, buy a second one i love it um can't that, hurt that's it becky that's the review now before we drive this back to the dealership which we will show in the video it's time to give people three things we love about this unit three things we don't like becky what do we do first uh, I can already tell you one dislike from right here. Talk to me. Let's do dislikes first. Because dislike guess what? I actually really like this van. I, oh, I love it. So I, I want to end on a positive note. What's dislike number one? Number, I need a grab handle here. Ah, uh, clumsy, clumsy. That's me. So I need a hand. I just came out and I went, where's the no handle? So for me, because I, I would use this all the time as a yep. very functional space. And you guess what? You could here. do like a hitch step. Yep, yeah. that'd be very cool. Yep. But but again, a handle for sure, handle. number one. But that's easy. I, I just use one. That's just yep. like number one. Okay. Becky, just like number two for me. Yeah. Also back, excuse me, also back here, no screen. Oh, I wow. think it would have been really cool to have mm. a fold up screen just like that one. Not not the roll up one, but the one that just drops all the way down. Yes. I would have liked to see that in here. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I totally agree. Because again, you're not going like, to be sleeping in here. You're going to be here. You know, yep, exactly. And I mean, sometimes there's bugs, there. like that other Integra review. <laughs> bug, bug, bugs. There's a lot of bugs. And then dislike number three. Becky, do we have a dislike number three? Number three. Oh, I have one. Ooh, I have no? one. Oh, oh, yeah, I have a big okay. one. Not a big one. Okay. Oh. I, got a, I got a deal breaker. No, I'm just kidding. No, for me, dislike number three, I would have liked to see a pedestal table there. Um, for when four people are like having dinner all together. Yeah, but I also, you know why I disagree with that? Because I don't like a big monster pedestal in I hear the you. middle of my floor. Yep. And guess what? I'm clumsy. Yep. I'm that's gonna be I'm gonna broke I'm gonna break a toe. And you if you want it, then you can install it. So right. I don't know it. But it, if you take well, it out, then you got the holes in the floor. And here's the thing, so, we can always just set up a table there. You could. Um because you're not gonna be driving down the road with that table so or it doesn't need to be super secure you just install lagoon table here so that it functions and it's out of the way ah I'm becky genius. you're so smart when it comes to b vans that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for the easy part three things we love about it would you like to go first sure i'd absolutely like talk to, to me i personally really like that there's a rear kitchen yes it's different it's so unique it's not oh it's always on the side somewhere it's functional for parties yes taking your kids to parks like yes. this they're not inside your rv you're outside and you are able to use the outdoor space because that's van life yes van it is life is not about the inside it's about being on the outside it's outside yep so, love that yeah that's number one becky number two for me i'm gonna combo your rear kitchen with that like kind of side seating area and just all the seats in here again this is the family traveler the option that you can get the pop top i wouldn't get the pop top but again to have that option to have the four captain's chairs sure this is so freaking cool it is that's it number is. two and then becky give us number three all right number three for me truly i know that we didn't really spend a, a ton of time but and matt says he doesn't mm. love the bathroom i i disagree with matt i think that this for a class b i'm just gonna throw those yes this liquefied for a class b van bathroom is huge okay it, I, unless you get a rear bath, yep, it's not going to be this size. Truthfully, it. it's not. I didn't. I know the van bathrooms are not this big. A lot of them I have to duck. I can stand straight up in here. I can literally actually stand up in this bathroom and really truly use this as a shower. And where before I always have to sit on the toilet to use it as a shower. I just can't. I can't function it, but I could do that in here. Well, Becky, that's it. That's the review. Before we go, we are going to test drive this back to the dealership. So we're about to close up shop, hop in and go. But again, remember guys, if you're interested in this RV, please reach out to our friend Becky who helps us for free. Um, obviously she gets compensated if she sells you an RV, but the filming today, she's taking an off day to film with us. We can't tell you how much we appreciate her. So if you're in the market and you're looking to buy an RV from me at General, uh, click that special Becky links form down below. Becky, let's close this up and drive it back to the dealership. How's it handle? It actually handles Have just it. kind of like yes. a regular car. I mean, this thing is super easy to drive. Reminds me of like a mom. Oh, hang on. Matt, stop pulling on the handle. It's like a little, stop. Oh my gosh, open the door then. Sorry. He's like a kid, guys. He's like a kid. 
Becky eating I, that. I, earlier I, count, I told him, stop pushing the buttons. Yes, oh, yes, hang on. Put your seatbelt on. I will. Yes. If you could show me real quick. Oh, yeah. I just don't want you to show me while you're driving. I got plenty of space here, plenty of leg space. Got a little bit of map holder right here for like, you know, your license and registration when the police pull you over. We got uh, storage <laughs> right here. Is there storage here? Oh, yes. A little bit of storage right there. Ooh, that's fancy. Yep. Wireless phone charger, cup holders there. I put my seatbelt. I don't mind this thing. I know Becky doesn't like it too much. And there's an SOS mode and an assist mode. Well, I do like it because I can store like bag, a sweatshirt or something up there, umbrella. But it does kind of get in your way. Becky, bad. how does this feel while you're driving? It feels good. I also want to point out something that I learned on a trip. It's not a bad idea to carry a regular map even though, you know, oh, wow. Now, like, yes. Great. But guess what? It's great till it's not great. And we were on the upper peninsula of Michigan. The Upers. Uh huh. It was an amazing trip. If you guys haven't gone, go there. You will not regret it. it is it is God's country. No doubt about it. However, there are places where guess what? There is zero phone service. Right. Navigation was was, was still showing us where we were. But there's no phone service and some of that, um, well then I guess there was places where we weren't like able to do anything. I mean, it well, was like, it was kind of freaky. I was like, here's wow. A good, here's the good part about mentioning that. This does have separate navigation from your phone. Not saying that this will work if your phone's not working, but right. two's better than one. And yeah. then again, to have that map for number three Well, just to is, be able to look at it sometimes. Yes. And the safety. I mean, we were also on some roads that were not mapped. Yeah. Uh, it was literally saying on here, county roads not mapped. Yes. Um, so and then it does have the lane assist, though, that I saw. Yeah, it does have lane assist. Okay. It will, I'm going to actually and two. I do want to mention something. Um, that's a big benefit of getting RV Life, the RV Life app, especially if you know you're going in those areas. That's another thing that you can use because that can do navigation even without the Wi-Fi. So, and it is, like, I can actually oh, wow. set up navigation right here on my yes. digital screen instead of having to look at that. Yes. So this is definitely new, new technology, way more improved than it has been in the past. I mean, even now my radio can, I just got to the radio app. I can do all sorts of vehicle information. So that's driver assist. So that'll keep you probably your lane assist and see that's telling you your trip information. Perfect. Perfect. And how do you feel driving and steering oh, and everything? Digital dash. Uh, you know, it, it feels fine. I, it, it's kind of just like, I mean, it's easy to drive. It just is no nothing really to it yes I mean, it, you get a big windshield you sit up high i personally though i don't like driving cars because i'm yep. tall yep and i truthfully i feel as if you're driving in a car you can't see like as much nearly as what you can see here so i've been never really uh, into the driving of smaller vehicles right uh i like to sit up higher that's just me um but it's it's definitely come a long ways from even a few years ago. That is what I will say. The Ram chassis is still never going to be my favorite, but it's hard to make it your favorite when you, the, the Mercedes. You, when the you're Mercedes, competing, it, your you only two competitions is a Ford Transit and a Mercedes. And here's right. what I will say. Mercedes if getting right. lithium is important to you yes. and you're looking at Ford or Mercedes, you're looking at a big price jump oh, big. compared to this one being the Ram Promaster and the Mercedes. And again, to wrap it all up, with it being single rear wheel, looking like a true van, right? Right. Because there is some HOAs that even though it looks like a van and even though it's a B van, if it has those dual wheels, they won't allow you at the HOA. So correct. this having the single wheels, there's pros and cons to getting anything and everything when it comes to RVs and van life. Becky, thank you once again for joining us and showing us, look at that view, showing us your beautiful state of Michigan. And again, guys, nationwide, nationwide, nationwide. If you live in this nation, if you live in Canada and you're interested in buying an RV from General RV and you don't mind making the trip, contact Becky because she will make it worth your while Thanks, of man. making that trip. And if you do make the trip and you do pick up at Wixom, you can stay at Becky's Harvest House. Yes, I've had probably like 60 Harvest House guests uh, this summer. Well, you know, spring, summer. 
Um, actually just had somebody last night. We have somebody here again today. So it's been an amazing, if you guys don't know what Harvest House is, it is um, about 5,000 different destinations mm. across the United States that you can camp at. It's great for van life, but it's yes. just great for also RVers because campgrounds could be full and it's a, a great spot to just stop for the night as you're traveling through to your next destination. But you're not stopping at a, a, a Walmart or a Target. You're you're literally staying at somebody's house where it's safe. Where you have permission to stay as well. Permission. And it, you're not paying them, but you're, you're supporting their local business. I love it. And speaking of supporting local business or sp supporting business, Harvest Host isn't a sponsor of the show, no. but I promote the heck out of them because it's just an awesome product. And again, they charge no. 50 bucks a year or 100 bucks a year. It's, and then it's unlimited stays. It's yeah. so nice. I mean, so. it really, it gets you out of campgrounds. So if you're really into van life. Oh yeah. I'd say yes. Perfect. Thanks so much, Becky. We'll see you next time.